I don't think we've seen all of the changes in the Rio Carnival update yet. Welcome back Mayors, this is Blocks. Earlier this week I released a video exploring the content in the Rio Carnival update, but I don't think we can actually see all of the new parks, and there are definitely a few hidden things going on. Let's start with the revamped communication tower in Daniel City. It looks different to the model we saw before and I did videos about, but we still can't build it from our own mountain specialization menus, so what's going on here? Is it now in the game? Will it be unlocked at some point? Is the communication tower some kind of limited time building to help Sim see in the Lunar New Year? Then we've got the patch notes for three weeks only with limited time festivals. Start the party. I think it's pretty clear we're going to see three bits of limited time content, but it's less obvious exactly when those will be. The first one we definitely know about, it's the Rio Carnival starting the party of these celebrations right now, and that's going to run through until the 11th of February in-game. But then the patch notes talk about Lunar New Year and Valentine's Weekend. So let's think, back in the real world, Lunar New Year 2016 is on February the 8th, but it's a seven day long celebration that runs from New Year's Eve on the 7th through until the 13th. And then Valentine's Day is always the 14th. Back in the game, how will that pan out? Rio Carnival content runs until the 11th, so will we see a couple of crossovers here? If we do, it'll be the first time ever we get two lots of limited time content live in the game at the same time, and I think we could see that happen given the dates. I would guess that we'll see Lunar New Year content start sometime around the 7th of February, if the developers are being consistent with real world dates, so we could easily get an overlap. How long will it run for though? Will Rio Carnival and Lunar New Year be live together for just a few days? And then looking ahead to Valentine's Day, the patch notes call that Valentine's Weekend. So what if that starts early and maybe runs from say the Friday to the Monday for a long weekend around the 12th to 15th? That would be a really short window, but it could still be live at the same time as Lunar New Year content if that runs from the 7th to the 13th. Maybe we'll get two more mini-game updates that put new parks or buildings in the game. Or maybe all of these Lunar New Year and Valentine's Weekend parks are in there waiting to be unlocked already. Either way, it is now clear that there's a lot more to this update than appears at first glance, as I suggested in my earlier Rio Carnival video. And my tip on this news is clear too. Whenever and whatever new content there is to be unlocked, you need to be ready. Plan now. Earn those simoleons, get those stacks of golden keys and save your sim cash, so that you can decide what you want to buy when the other festive parks go live in game. I hope that quick tip helps you out Mares, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like on the video if it's been useful, have a great day and I will see you next time!